in uh, 1820, great scientist S. C. observed that magnetic needle gets deflected when it is placed near the conductor carrying current. That means when current passes through the conductor, magnetic field is produced around it. Bharat Savatla, it is stated by Jean Biot and uh, Felix Savart. Biot Savart law is a fundamental quantitative relationship between an electric current and the magnetic field it produces. This law, based on the experiments of the French scientist Jean Baptiste Biot and Felix Savart, which is performed in 1820. Now let's see what is Biot Savart's law. Biot Savart's law gives the magnitude and direction of magnetic induction due to straight conductor. To understand this law, we consider a conductor of any shape as shown in the figure which is carrying current R and a current element of length dl. Let P be any point at a distance R from the current element and theta is the, theta be the angle between the direction of current and line joining point P and the current, current element. Now we'll see what is the statement of uh, Bayard Savatla. The magnitude of magnetic induction uh, due to small current element of a conductor, it is uh, directly proportional to number one, the current I passing through the conductor. Number two, the length of current element DL, which is shown in the figure. Number three, sine of the angle theta between the element and the line joining point P and the fourth one uh, but it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance uh, that means R square between the element DL and the point P. Uh, if we combine all these points uh, from points 1 to 4 in short we can write dB that means the magnitude of magnetic induction due to small current element and that is dB that is proportional to I then dB proportional to dl and dB proportional to sin theta and the fourth point is dB proportional to 1 upon r square. So combining all these points we can write uh, dB proportional to ideal sin theta upon r square. So uh, from the previous slide we can write dB proportional to ideal sin theta upon r square. If we take a k as a proportionality constant, uh, then we can write dB equal to k ideal sin theta upon r square, where k be the uh, constant of proportionality and its value is mu0 upon 4 pi and that is equal to 10 raised to power minus 7 vapor per ampere meter. And uh, mu0, it is the permeability of free space. So putting the value of k, the above equation can be written as dB equal to mu0 upon uh, 4 pi ideal uh, sin theta upon r square. Uh, this is the equation uh, uh, which we can write in vector form also. So uh, in vector form we can write this equation as vector dB equal to mu0 upon 4 pi i vector dl cross vector r upon r cube. Uh, where and uh, dB, vector dB it is equal to, again we can write mu 0 upon 4 pi 1 upon r square i dl vector dl cross uh, vector r0, where vector r0 be the unit vector along the position vector r drawn from dl to point P. So, uh, the, in previous side we have seen the equation for a small current element dl. Uh, but if we are to find the total magnetic induction uh, B at a point P due to entire conductor, then it is given by B, uh, vector B equal to integration of vector dB and that is equal to mu0 i upon 4 pi uh, integration of vector dl cross vector R0 upon R square. Uh, so the final equation is vector B equal to mu0 i upon 4 pi integration of vector dl sin theta upon R square. The direction of B is given by a right hand and thumb rule. This is about the Biot Savart law.